So mega floods, which are terrestrial water flows with discharges exceeding one million cubic feet per second until out of water. And they are the largest known freshwater floods with flows comparable in scale, though of shorter duration, and ocean currents. Although there are no modern examples of mega floods, such flows occurred during major periods of glaciation. A prominent example is the paleo flooding caused by late Pleistocene outbursts from glacial Lake Missoula, which formed when the Purcell Trench Lobe at the Cordilleran Ice Sheet extended south from British Columbia to the basin of modern Pond Array Lake in northern Idaho. The ice thereby impounded the Clark Fork River drainage to the east, forming a lake extending into western Montana with a water volume of about 2,500 cubic kilometers, which is roughly about 620 cubic miles of water. That's a lot of water. I have issues with the current ice dam model for multiple reasons, and I don't think that actually Glacial Lake Missoula was the ultimate origin of these mega flows. The Missoula floods were responsible for generating this channel scab land of East Central Washington State a complex of anastomosing, and so it creates this plexus of divergences and convergences. And that's simply what we mean by that mouthful of a word, anastomosing. Numerous spillways were flood integrated into temporary rivers in parts of North America, such as the St. Lawrence, Mackenzie, Yukon, Mississippi, and Columbia. I'll mention also the Missouri River. The late Pleistocene mega floods are associated with a broad range of hydrologic and climatic changes that are only now being fully understood.